And for the chicken, I love using boneless thighs or breasts. Right. And what I've done, I've just put a little salt and pepper on the chicken mm -hmm. and I've just fried them off just a little bit, just to kind of lock in the flavors, yeah. not too much, just to sort of brown them. And once you've done that, I'm gonna take them out here, get them out there like that. And the grit inside the pan is the most important bit. So don't wash that out. No, no, no. Because no, no, that is no. the Go most use important that. bit. Absolutely. And for that, now I'm gonna start to pile up my flavors here. I'm gonna add a bit of waxy potato in there and a bit of squash. You could use pumpkin. Okay. The Caribbean pumpkin is used quite a lot. You don't yeah. have to use all of it. And this, your aubergine in the Caribbean again, this is called uh -huh. garden eggs. Garden eggs? Yes. Is it? I like that. a nice that. name. I, I like, like that, that name too. Good. So put some of your garden eggs in. <laughs> yeah. And fry that around for a bit. Fry for a bit. I've got some onions that I've chopped here. You're going to put that in there. A bit of chopped onions in. Mm. As much as you want in there. Sure. It's your recipe. And that's two or three minutes sort of fried together. Right. That one tried yeah, to escape. We'll get it back <laughs> in again. No way, it's not getting away there. <laughs> and of course, the spice mix, which is so important that you've done that. Your sunshine, get that in so that start to merge with everything. So many islands of the Caribbean, over a thousand islands in the Caribbean. And this one is very French. Martinique of is course, very French, yeah. so the flavors are like that. But there's a reason why it's called the Caribbean and the West Indies, because yeah. there's a bit of an Indian influence there yeah, as well, sure. as well too.